when you sit down to write, what is one thing that you absolutely need to have with you? Water. Hmm. I have. Stay this hydrated. Is my holy grail, and it's the straw because this is what I'll do. I'll just be sitting here and I'll be like <laughs> typing, and totally. it's just because I need to like ingest something. So I'll be like hunched over, like drinking from this straw. This yeah. is my this is my one true love. Uh, one true. I have a little messenger, but I need a straw. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Water. I'm I'm a I'm big on water. I need water while I'm writing. Uh, I think it gets the the juices flowing. Or like a cold beverage in the summer. Like I mean, I can <laughs> I mean I can manage, but it's always there's just something nice about like like you know when I would go like write in a cafe or something, I'd usually get like a matcha latte, or I might make a a tea at home or like a coffee or something. My computer. I love matcha, but I can write without matcha. Um, I'm a typer. And I know it's good and it's actually it's actually better in a way for the brain stuff to like, you know, write by hand. And I tend to journal that way and uh when I need to write because I'm feeling something emotional and I get things out on paper, that's something that I often do. Um, it's by hand. But yeah, when it comes to writing, it's it's my computer. And you see there it says number three, because it means I'm on my third, my third notebook of my play. And that doesn't mean I've actually filled up three books with like stage direction and dialogue. Sometimes I'm just like, fuck this, I hate this. But it means for at least three books, I've sat down. Um, and that makes me feel like I've achieved something. My notebook, um, a lot of my secrets and desires and ideas are in this book. Um, as well as music, I love to uh, play some music while I write. Play instrumental study music. Just the study from Spotify. She doesn't listen to me, but that's cut. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa, stop. I really have to listen to music. It uh, completely drives the attitude of, of the writing, and and in, it it's, uh, it strangely allows me to just open up my mind and. See, see things and feel things and think of things that I never, I, I don't usually. She doesn't listen to me, but like that's the joy of starting writing because I'll tell her to play something and then she'll just play something different. I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of like the fun of it. I like silence when I'm writing, <laughs> uh, which can be funny when you're with other writers who don't care for silence as they write, but I really like silence. I don't need total silence. I, I could, I could, you know, there could be some like calming music in the background, but like random sounds like keyword typing or eating or something, it's, it somehow feels like it's getting in the way and it actually aggravates me so much. I really find it challenging. I feel like very, I feel like I need to be in a bit of a bubble when I write. One thing I can't write without is the notes section of my phone. For me, writing usually happens when I'm doing something else, especially when I'm walking. Um, it used to happen a lot on uh, the Metro, and I imagine it will once I start taking public transit regularly again. Often things come in motion, and it's really important for me to be able to just kind of have my phone either write whatever comes, sometimes it's a full poem, sometimes it's a few lines, sometimes it's like a really clear image or detail about a character or plot. My one thing is an English French uh, dictionary because I'm like bilingual and I'm always, uh, I can't, it's like I can't write in either one language so I'm always looking at the dictionary like oh yeah what's this expression okay yeah and I'm so I'm always using that huh my brain <laughs> I don't know to be honest a deadline 
uh, which is one of the best things about YCU. Even though everyone is really understanding um, and they're totally okay with you working at your own pace, knowing that every week there's a group that wants to hear your work and wants to engage with it, um, it lets you set your own deadlines and, and really keep up with everything, which has been so helpful.